Okay, so as we have seen, multiplying, okay, multiplying a monomial, and that's just a single term, right, by another polynomial is really, really simple. Okay, generally, to do this, you're just going to multiply the monomial by each term in the polynomial, right, using distributive property. So in general, to multiply two polynomials together, we multiply each term of the first polynomial by each term of the second polynomial. So it's going to get a little bit more complicated here, but really just have to, you kind of have to focus a little bit. This becomes second nature for you. So I have negative 5x plus 6 times negative 10x minus 5. And in the next lesson, we're going to talk about uh, something called FOIL. And it's going to be a procedure when you have, in this case, we have two binomials here. When you multiply two binomials, there's a mnemonic device called FOIL that you can use to get through it, right? Because it occurs so often. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the first term from here, and I'm going to multiply it by this right here. So just write this as negative 5x times negative 10x minus 5. Then I'm going to add to that. I'm going to take the second. Let me do that in a different color. It might help. I take the second term from this polynomial and I'm going to multiply it by this here. So then plus 6 times then negative 10x minus 5. So basically we just want to remember that we want to take each term from the first polynomial. Okay, so in this case it's negative 5x and it's 6. We want to multiply it by each term of the second polynomial. So here's the first term from the first polynomial. And it's being multiplied by the second polynomial here. And here's the second and final term of the first polynomial. And it's being multiplied by the second polynomial here. So you just need to make sure you do that. And again, in the next lesson, we're going to talk about FOIL. And that's going to make it a little easier for you. But moving forward, you're going to be multiplying binomials by trinomials. And just you might have something where you have a polynomial with like seven or eight terms multiplied by another polynomial with seven or eight terms. And you're going to have to do something like this. Okay, so let's use our distributive property. Negative 5x times negative 10x would be positive 50x squared. Then negative 5x times negative 5 is plus 25x. Okay, then moving on, we have plus, we have 6 times negative 10x. That's going to be minus, minus 60x. Then we have 6 times negative 5. That's going to be minus 30. Now we're not done because look at what we can do here. We have 25x and we have basically negative 60x. So those are like terms. So we can combine those. We don't want to leave this like this. So we want to do 25 minus 60 and that's negative 35. So what we're going to do is have 50x squared and then minus 35x and then minus 30. So this would be your final answer. Okay, so here again we have two binomials that we're multiplying together. And you just want to make sure that you take each term from the first binomial and multiply by each term of the second binomial. So I'm going to take this term right here and I'm going to multiply it by this. Let's do that first. So we'll do negative 4x cubed times 8x squared minus 9. Then secondly, what we want to do is we want to multiply this, this second term from the first polynomial by the second polynomial. So plus, then we're going to have negative x squared being multiplied by 8x squared minus 9. So let's think about this. So we're going to do negative 4x to the third power, or negative 4x cubed, times 8x squared. So negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. And then x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth power. Then we have negative 4x cubed times negative 9. So that's plus 36x cubed. All right, next we have negative x squared times 8x squared. So that's going to be minus 8x to the fourth power. Then finally, we have negative x squared times negative 9. So that will be positive, And then 9x squared. Okay, and so in this case, we don't have any like terms to combine, but remember, we always want to write our polynomial in standard form. And this is not in standard form right now, because if you look here, I have this x that has an exponent of 3, and this x that has an exponent of 4, it's out of order. So we're going to rewrite this in standard form. Basically, we just need to switch the positions 
or 36x cubed and negative 8x to the fourth power. And then we're done. So we have negative 32x to the fifth power minus 8x to the fourth power plus 36x cubed plus 9x squared. Okay, that's our final answer. Okay, so now we want to look at something that's a little bit more challenging. And this is multiplying a trinomial by another trinomial. Again, it's the same principle. You're going to take each term from the first polynomial, so 3x squared, negative 2x, and negative 5, and you're going to multiply it by each term of the second polynomial. So it's basically the same thing. So we'll start with 3x squared. That's this first term here. We're going to multiply this by this entire second polynomial. So this is going to be multiplied by negative 3x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, plus, now we're going to do this one right here. So we have negative 2x. We're going to multiply it by that second polynomial. So then plus negative 2x times negative 3x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay, then plus. Then finally we have this negative 5 here. That again, we're going to multiply by the second polynomial. So plus negative 5 being multiplied by negative 3x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay? So not very difficult, but very, very tedious. Very tedious. So let's start. We have 3x squared times negative 3x squared. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And then x squared times x squared is x to the fourth power. Then we have 3x squared times 4x, and that's going to be plus 12x to the third power. Then we have 3x squared times 3, so that'll be plus 9x squared. Okay, now what we have is, so we're done with this, we're moving on down here. We have negative 2x times negative 3x squared, that's going to be plus 6x cubed. Then we have negative 2x times 4x, that's minus 8x squared. Then we have negative 2x times 3, that's going to be minus 6x. All right, moving into the last line now, we have negative 5 times negative 3x squared, so that's positive 15x squared. Then we have negative 5 times 4x, and that's minus 20x. Then we have negative 5 times 3, and that's minus 15. Okay, so now what we really basically need to do is look to combine like terms. Let's use a highlighter to get that together. So here we have x to the fourth power. Let's look for that. So that's by itself. Then we have x cubed here, x cubed here, and no more. And then let's see, we have, we have x squared here, x squared here, and x squared here. Then finally we have x here and x here. Okay. So now what we want to do is regroup this and so we can add our like terms easier. So I'm going to put negative 9x to the fourth power out here. And then I'm going to go to my x cubed term. So then plus, I'll have 12x cubed plus 6x cubed. Now I have my x squared term. So I have, let's see, plus, I'll do that down here because there's three of them. So we'll have 9x squared minus 8x squared plus 15x squared. Now I have my x term, so I have plus, we'll have minus 6x, and then minus 20x. Then I'll just have minus 15 hanging out by itself. Okay, so let's crank this out. We have negative 9x to the fourth power, that's just gonna stay as it is. Now we have plus, 12x cubed plus 6x cubed, that'll be 18x cubed. Now we have plus 9x squared minus 8x squared plus 15x squared. 9 minus 8 is 1, then plus 15 is 16, so plus 16x squared. Then we have plus, we have negative 6x minus 20x, that'll be minus 26x. Then finally we have minus 15. So as you can see, it's very, very tedious when you start multiplying, you know, trinomials and above together. So all I can tell you is take your time 
and focus, but you need to make sure that each term from the first polynomial gets multiplied by each term for the second polynomial. And when we get into Algebra 2, we'll deal with multiplying more than two polynomials together, but for right now, we want to master this.